Hello everybody, we're right in the middle of the holiday season. It's just a couple days from the big Christmas day. We're already in the middle of Hanukkah. Oh folks, it's been a crazy year. It's gonna be a great holiday season. Best way to celebrate it is with Will Crosby. We're playing some Christmas games. Will, how excited are you? <laughs> Very excited. Hanukkah was extended this year, I just heard. So it's exciting. Oh, really? Um, yeah, so we're gonna have a great time. Um, basically, I just found a bunch of free Christmas games. We're gonna go through them. They're all for DOS, because that's honestly the easiest way to do this. Uh, let's kick it off. It's gonna be a little bit of a weird stream, because basically, I need... Each of these games can be a little temperamental. Um, I have tested exactly one of them. And, uh, basically, I'm gonna try and get the game running. And then I'll show you guys. Just I should have sent uh sent use a knife. Poster. Um shut up. <laughs> okay, all right. So Will, you can see that. Uh-huh. The stream can see it. Let's see. We're gonna play Holiday Lemmings first, which I guess is VGA Lemmy dot exe. VGA. Demo machine types. Whoop. Oh, we're doing it. It's doing something, folks. It's up. Oh. Welcome to the special 1994 holiday edition of Lemmings. You ever played Lemmings? Uh, oh, it just now I see it. Oh, it went away. It went bonkers for me. Yeah, I don't have any audio. So give me a second. I'm going to test a game that I know has working audio, and that will tell me if it's DOSBox or my audio setup. So let's go back over here. Uh, you're in charge of chat, by the way. Holiday Lemming 1994. <laughs> it's the year I was born. Uh, okay, so let me load. What was the name of that? Oh, I to answer your query, no, I have never played Lemmings. I have seen it played. I don't think but I've ever played it either. Played it. Hey, I want... I need you to pat me on the back because I didn't bring up Tetris. What? I don't get your obsession with me not playing Tetris. It's, it's very cut and dry. It's a running joke where you say that you've never played Tetris. And I say, you've never played Tetris. And you go, no, I've played Tetris. That's the joke. Is no. that is that whenever I ask you if you've played a game, now I can't know like whether you've actually played it or not because how you answer. If you say no, That's I don't know. That's not what happened. It's you said, have you ever played Tetris? I said, no, I've only played Tetris in other games. That's All a fine right, caveat. No, three. Like, I've only ever played Space Harrier inside Yakuza. That's, that, that still means you played, you played. Yeah, actually, that's way more. I've never, yeah. Isn't this... First of all, let me... Let me... Why isn't that giving me... Oh, it's because I didn't change directory. Woo! Okay. There we go. Okay, I know sound works on this one. This is Lemmings 3D. Skip this. No. Boom, boom. Got a cat that's trying to lay on the keyboard. Nice. You should get a fake keyboard for them to lay on. Hypnosis. We got sound. Okay, oh, let's just play this instead of the other lemmings. Oh, he's shivering. So this game Maybe actually Jesus in the cold. This game actually has cursor control, which is a little weird. I'm gonna adjust some volumes real quick. I feel like a why is cursor control weird? It's just, it's like a late DOS control. Like a late DOS edition is allowing cursor control. Sorry, folks, I'm just, uh... I need to adjust audio real quick. Sounds like a dream over here. It's just a little loud on mine. Here we go. Uh-oh. I hit alt enter. Okay, we're back. 
Okay, folks. Let's play some lemmings. Like. Oh no, wait, <laughs> I'm line up with me. I got I keep looking at your head, but I have to do the opposite. How's your brain? <laughs> Scrambled. Uh, man, I played on our Minecraft community server today. And <laughs> Me too. I got all the way to another village, collected a bunch of hay, collected some blast furnaces, got carrots and potatoes and all sorts of delicious things, and then I died. Cool. And then I rage quit the server. Actually, no, I, I started running back to it and I almost made it back, and then the creeper blew up and killed me, and then I rage quit the server. Number of lemmings 80, 72 to be saved. Release rate 50, time 4.5 minutes. Rating Christmas. Is this running at about 1 frame per second? Um, yeah, that sounds about right. Let's see what happens. It is a 3D DOS game, so. <laughs> yeah. Well known. For being great. Oh no. Oh, uh, okay, let me just try something real quick. Is it all F4? No, apparently it's escape. A lot of escape. Alt F4 doesn't work. This was a good idea. It's gonna be the rest of the stream, folks. I'm just happy I have my my up deck set up so I can quickly just be like, let's go to camera so I can just quickly exit out of everything. Okay, all right. You know what? Let's let's do the big boy. Did you say Minecraft? Yeah, I heard that. Okay, but wait, I I have at least one or two games that I think are gonna be stellar. <laughs> It was set up at exe. Sound Blaster Pro! Getting qualitat! Oh, you gotta go. You gotta go rack seven. Gonna go rack seven. Well, <laughs> <laughs> oh, the added joystick on your gun pad, but also with the buttons. Uh, I, I do not have a joystick. Oh no, wait. Nine? Green is nine. A green is nine, right? Green is the select? I hope. Nope, I don't think it was. On Pasong. Yeah, that looks good. You... Did I just install this game? Uh, I'm just hey, gonna. Can you patch it for me? <laughs> I probably didn't need to install it. Now that I see there's one called CC. Yeah. God! <laughs> Kaina! Kaina! Nine! No, Kaina. I think you're hitting yes on that one. Oh! Oh! VR6 engine. This is called Christmas Carnage. I'm gonna use. Tasta Tato, a joystick, gamepad, or mouse. Let's use mouse. Tasta Tato. Tasta Tato. a potato with electric <laughs> leads in it. Exactly. <laughs> oh. oh my goodness. I hope the sound works on this. Soft enterprises. Who cares if it doesn't? We'll make our own. I saw screenshots from this, and it looked bonkers. I feel like I should. Okay, I'm gonna do something. Oh my! <laughs> what is he holding? I hope it's a can. Oh my god! There are seventy nine. Okay, I need to go to setup. Uh. Fium Fium Crotch. <laughs> this guy looks terrifying. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna try and get sound working. I feel like if we get sound working in this, it's gonna be killer. So let me just cc.exe. I want the mouse. Das mouse. Okay, let's just play it. Okay. New spiel. Yes, Solala. Solala. Oh my god. Oh boy. I want to play this game. So oh. I think you're getting hit. 
Now I'm swinging. This game looks incredible. It's like literally a photo of an axe. I want to play this yeah, so bad, but I'm sorry, do. folks. I don't think it's going to work. I don't even know what the controls are. Next game. This is why I got eight of them. I think this is showing why we stopped doing scan lines. It was too difficult. How do I? Yeah, it's kind of sad that I figured out how to do everything after we just stopped making them. Yeah, but you can always do your. I mean, you have your Monday trash streams, right? Yeah, that's true. I, which I think we're gonna try to do tomorrow. F finish uh, Enemy Zero. Which is surprisingly somewhat fun game. What is it? Is that tower defense? There's a enemy zero. No, it's uh, it's another FMV game. Uh, okay, here we go. Did I Christmas what? matchup. I didn't say the F word. I said enemy zero. Oh, I wouldn't fucking say the Sorry. F word on this stream. Wow. <laughs> That's our one. <laughs> Number of players. One. Use PC speaker. Yes. Use FM music. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no. PC speaker. Yes. What is click? Me? Click me. Jesus. Jesus is God's Christmas gift. <laughs> gift to us. Jesus was put to death for our sins and raised to life for our justification. We may be born Read again this, Karen. into a truth for God. <laughs> How many people do you think were converted because of this video game? He is coming back as soon as the Father puts all things right in the church. His body grows. We are saved by faith in Jesus. Wait, Ian, it said to accept. We had to pray. I click we on these pray. to turn them over and reveal the cards. Match up two cards. Two, three. Grace card. Oh, cool. Romans five seventeen. Can you look that up for me? Oh my god, this is too much. Just let me you know pray my... to my lord and savior. That's all I'm asking for. Oh my god. I think one of my favorite games we ever played for scan lines was Captain Bible. It was. It was a good one. That Also, your edit when, <laughs> when we did the Jesus said stuff is the funniest, hardest I've ever laughed. Alright, what's your go-to? Whatever. Uh, uh, middle. Dead middle. Can we just take a look? This is actually brilliant. The cursor has the player number on it. Oh, that's cool. Right. I'm player one. Dead metal stars. Oh, no. Should we do that? Oops. Okay, let me oh, restart it. Go back to reset it. Let me restart it. Oh, look. That one was stars. Oh, wait, wait. We got to send $7 to Kenneth Hagen Ministries, P.O. Box. <laughs> Can we do that? No, God, no. Oh. Do I still? Wait, is the is the Jehovah's Witness letter still over there? It might be. Is it right there? All right, I'm player one. You ready, There's Will? More over there. Yes, oh, you're player cool. one. Ian, I got another Jehovah's Witness letter. Handwritten. Handwritten this time. Oh. Look at this. Actually, oh, can, that's my address. So let's, I'm gonna I'm let's, gonna switch let's, over to camera. <laughs> can you can you read that out loud real quick? Because I want to know if it's the same. Yeah. Look at this little fox. Oh, look at the little fox. I really hope fox. my Try not to show my address again on the camera. That's a bit sexy. Yeah, I think that's the same one that I got. The same pamphlet. Dear William, mm -hmm. I have not read this yet. I saved it. My name is Mary. I'm writing to you today to share a comforting thought from Bible. In today's troubled world, anxiety is common, and many find dealing with it extremely difficult. The Bible tells us that even when you feel like you have no one to turn to, you can always turn to God, and he will be here to, there to help. Psalms 55.22 states, Throw your burden on Jehovah, and he will sustain you. Never will he allow the righteous one to fall. This scripture can give us comforting and help during this pandemic, and also through difficult time. Our work is volunteer to help people learn the Bible and answer their questions. To find more information on this topic and the answers to many more questions, feel free to visit the official website at www.notpluggingtheirwebsite. I hope you and your family is well and safe. I have to say, this Amen. is completely 
the handwritten, not like the other ones where they clearly scanned. Yes, the other. This is completely handwritten versus the other ones. Oh, yeah, that were yeah. very much scanned. <clears throat> Thank you, Mary. Oh, all right, Christmas Thank matchup. You. Here we go. Here we go. Okay. No, you can have the envelope. Just okay, the which address which one are you picking? Uh, I would like the middle again. And then the bottom right hand corner. Okay. <laughs> That's so specific. No, this is Ian's uh, turn. Karen's trying to be part of the stream again. She, okay. She gets so jealous. Uh, middle. This? Oh, yeah, middle. And then uh, uh, straight left. All the way. The sun? Yeah. <clears throat> Okay, your turn. Okay, uh, bottom left. Oh, uh, middle left. Yeah. Yes! There's the noise. <gasps> it's so quiet. That, oh, you know what? I just realized they're not even seeing it on the stream. Okay, there we go. <laughs> no! It doesn't Full count. Time. We'll restart. No, I'm just kidding. All right. Uh, um, you get to go again. Top, top middle. Oh, I forgot you did that stupid one. Um, fourth column, four down. Oh, Lazarus. <laughs> oh, that was somewhere. Yeah, that was somewhere. Uh, next to my bottom Christmas matchup. Yeah, this one? Yeah. Oh, dang it. Um, uh, two to the right. Yes! Wow! Yes, that was that was all Karen. Um okay, let's do top right or top left, sorry. Wait, it's still going. Oh sorry. <laughs> I can barely hear that. It's very faint. Alright, top left? Yeah. Oh. Uh diagonal from it. Nope. <laughs> Oh, <gasps> no. Ooh, that one? Yeah. This one? Yeah. In the middle. Wow. I'm not doing great oh, tonight. <laughs> Sorry, I studied up on my Christmas matchup. I've been flexing it. Uh, What's the one to the right of that? This one? Yeah. I just want to look at it. Oh, that's brand new. Lord save me. Uh, diagonal down to that, or to the right. Sorry. Oh, oh, oh wait, somewhere. Oh no! Wait, 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 wait. God. Ooh, above uh, the middle. Wait, when it says "firstborn from among the dead," does that mean there's been more? Well, he was the first. But. Oh, okay. Yeah, I see what you mean. First doesn't imply second. Because it was, wasn't Lazarus Wait. second, or was Lazarus first? I think Bible might be wrong, Ian. Hey, Google, is Bible wrong? <laughs> All right, what's the um, next one? Let's do... Oh, what's right above it? I don't know. I, oh, it's the Caesar one. <laughs> that one's so good. Dang it! Got one! Oh. You read. Oh, come on! Got one. This is the worst. Oh, boy. You're going to have a run of it soon. Oh, that's true. We're getting down to it. I haven't been paying much attention, though. Grace looks... card. I think that matches anyone. Oh, you are a poop head. Oh, that's right. Yeshua. It does. It does. I thought it was going to match with itself, but it, it reveals the match. Okay. All right. My turn. This is the war. Oh, oh, oh come on! <laughs> oh. This is a Christmas sweep. Ah! Oh. 
Okay, okay uh, middle. Middle what? The, well, the only available middle one. Oh, you mean middle column? Okay. Sorry, middle column. Yeah. Yeah. And then. Oh no. Yeah. I think it's. Oh no. I think it's all the way to the right. Left, 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 left. left. This one. Yeah. Lord save me. What is that one? That is Jesus levitating? No! What's <laughs> that possible? Oh, this is some miracle bullcrap. Uh, okay. All right. Come on. <laughs> it's really so I just said, yeah, that was... Oh, he said that a while ago. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, Lazarus. No! <laughs> okay, I'm way too into this. <laughs> All right. Oh, you've you've won. You've won now. Maybe. I kind of don't remember what these other ones are. <laughs> no, there's no way you don't get these up next to. Oh, thank God. Oh, oh. God's the love of the world. Oh, cat doesn't like that one. I love that you set this to just chatting. What well, I couldn't put in like a <laughs> bunch of shitty Christmas games. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? Dang, I was on such a good lead. Nineteen cards. Do no, we want to play? Again? No, God no. Okay. Well, can you hit play? Again, I just want to see if the next set are different. Or if it's the exact same cards again. No, it's the same cards. Definitely the same cards. Oh, okay. okay. Wait, can we... We gotta send Grace... I actually probably should not be showing that address. <laughs> I think about it. Nope. Alright, here we go. Okay. I gotta remind myself in the YouTube archive to blank out my address. Okay, here we go. Actually, when you export that, let me know. Carols by Bill Polk. Carols <gasps> played R. Let's just do. Uh... Oh, spacebar to let the computer choose. Choosing the color player, letting the computer choose. I'll press ESC key. One. Merry Christmas, we wish you a Merry Christmas. Wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. I thought this was going to be like karaoke. Oh no, how do I stop it? How do I stop it? What? It's still going! I like the heart. Happy New Year. Okay, alright. Which one do you want to do next? Uh, uh, oh, Christmas tree. Number 12, please. Do you think we're going to get a copyright strike for this? I, I'm going to bet it's very easy to make these songs. It's just a question of if somebody put them in a database. Well, I mean, how many years in prison do you think we're going to get due to the new bill that just passed? I put it, I'm going to have several and wipes. Let me put it that way. Yeah. Why is is Semper Fidelis? What is, what is that? Semper Fidelis is always faithful. I don't know the song. But it's just weird because Semper Fidelis is the like the motto of the Marine Corps. Isn't that Semper Fi? Oh, yeah. is that what that stands yeah. for? Yeah. Wow. wow, that was a good moment. I've never Classic heard the street. whole. I've never heard the whole Fidelis. Yeah, Fidelis. yeah. What does it mean? Always faithful, I believe. Oh, yeah. Marine Corps family, baby. Both my parents were Marines. Wow, I'm sorry. My cousin was a Marine. We don't talk to him. No. Carl's great. We love Carl. Right, Zach? Carl with three Ks. <laughs> Wait, is this song racist? I'm gonna look up. Is it We Three Kings of... I don't think you're allowed to say the Orient anymore. No, I... Well, you say Oriental Rugs still, right? 
Don't refer to people like that. <laughs> I don't know. I think it's one of those things where, like, white... Where, like, white There's... Western civilization is like, don't say it anymore, but the actual civilization it affects is like, we don't care. <laughs> well, it's like, uh, when, uh... That meme, the, you know, show me the way meme. Mm -hmm. Like, people were, like, calling it racist and everything, and the people from... What what country was it? Um, I actually it was don't. an African country. That's as far as I know. But the people from the country were like, "Yeah, we really don't care." It's funny. Yeah, it's like how it's people get game. people get mad um, about like white people like dressing up in Japanese culture and stuff. But the Japanese are actually like, "No, we like it. It shows a lot of respect for our culture that you're yeah. like paying attention to it." Yeah, I think uh, Pay Money Wubby did a good thing on that. He's like, like people making fun of people for like these this white couple had a japanese wedding mm -hmm. and he was like yeah that's fine they can do that they're not making fun of japanese culture they're respecting it yeah and doing a cool thing like it'd be different if they were like making fun of japanese culture at a wedding but they're not yeah all right uh next game they're like your wedding let's go to this is santa's x mass ape Capers. Santa's ex husband. Gotta seek. Man, I made the mistake of looking up Santa Claus Rule 34 today. It was rough. Like a good kind of rough or no a bad kind of rough. Oh man. But the Lord. one we settled on that was some of our favorite, the Grinch Rule 34. I think that just means you're a furry. That sounds like gateway furry to No, I mean, I guess, but the Grinch isn't a specific animal. But still, Trust it's me, fur. there's a lot of furry stuff on Rule 34, and it does nothing for me. It's um, very gross. Which sound card do you think I'm supposed to choose? Probably Sound Blaster, because that's what everyone always says. Okay, let's see. I think I, I couldn't get the sound working on this through the website, because originally I was just going to play all these through the website, but let's see. Santa's. I need to it. update my, my Mr. I hear it. Sex says he's into the Grinch species. Yeah, it was pretty I'm, disturbing. I'm not a furry, but I am into the Grinch species. Although I was annoyed because Rule 34 had Grinch and the Grinch as tags, and that's just lazy. Like, I think the should not be a separate tag. Like, it should be included. Oh, by, like, by default? Yeah. Uh, for context for people who are watching this for the first time, my coworker and I decide on the weirdest stuff to search on that website, and we do like a check-in, like maybe twice, a, once or twice a week, maybe once or twice a day. But uh, it's usually oh. pretty fun. Big hot. Because people people draw really weird stuff, and it's really gross. How's Georgie, by the way? Is he dead yet? No, he's good. He uh, He's through COVID. He tested negative the other day when he went to go make sure he was good. Um, I still felt weird even though I tested negative. Uh, Chris tested negative. Um, I think I just had a cold, honestly. Um, which makes more sense to my brain. Oh, Santa died. Doesn't hey, control. what's Santa's corpse doing outside? Um, Free presents. Oh, I think I have like a bubble around me right now. Yeah, George, uh, I put his computer together yesterday, and then I had to install Windows for him today because I don't understand. he couldn't figure it out. <clears throat> Sorry, a big belch. What? Folks, if you didn't uh, see already when you're watching this, uh, episode three of my Dwarf Fortress playthrough came out. Good. It was a fun edit. I made a little story. Hi, hey, congratulations! That um, that Minecraft video is doing really well. Which it had one? like thirty views within the first two hours you posted it. Our stream. Oh, the community one. That's good. Yeah. Maybe we should do more Minecraft videos. I bet there's a nice Minecraft door fortress overlap. Yeah, I can see that. Um, it's weird, uh, 
editing that Dwarf Fortress video made me like, I should play more Dwarf Fortress. Um, even though I got to play more Rim World. All right, we're going to play Holiday Lemmings next, which is not 3D Lemmings. I just want to play more Minecraft. VGA Lemmy.exe, one for VGA game. Yeah, me too. I got the pumpkin farm set up. I started clearing land for more plots. Uh, finished the tower, the bonfire. I'm trying to figure out what. Oh, Cyberlong is perfect. Was oh, that smart? He's designing his house in creative mode. Oh, that is smart. Okay, let's play. My house is doing well. I just need to make a bunch of hay so I can put the roof on. Yeah. Level one chains of command. I feel like there is a graphical problem here, but no. Oh, oh well. I finally got all my mods oh. working. Oh, here's the music. I don't know how this game works, by the way. Uh, you stop them and make them do things. You make them blow up. Do you ever oh. think when people go to like remaster games from the past, I often wish they would just update the controls? Oh. Oh, you're gonna make him explode, by the way. I know. I'm gonna take out this. Take it! I wish they would just update the controls when they remaster things, not necessarily like overhaul graphics and systems. Oh, you blew them all up. Look like a mass suicide. Good job. Level one done. I was about to say, I crashed the game. Mm -hmm. um, level, intercode. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J. Okay. L, E, M, N, I, N, G, S, X, M. Do you want me to look up holiday lemon codes for you? Jesus lives. Lives. Dang. He is risen. <laughs> <laughs> Look, he's. L Liv. Liv Taylor. Liv Tyler. Liv Tyler. <laughs> <laughs> Can we? Wait. Biggie. Put Put in. In. <laughs> I'm gonna laugh when we get one of these. Jesus Christ. Oh no, it's uh, Jesus Crit. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Crit. Jesus Christ. Um, Christmas. Christmas. Hey, what if you typed mm -hmm. C K N O M L or sorry, D L Q V C. Oh, maybe if you didn't type that. What is it? One more time. Uh, C K N O M. Uh huh. D L Q V C. What is not. what is Frost ninety four? Uh, that was the year uh, I was born. All right, folks, let's let's go to the next game. I'm glad I downloaded eight games. How many are we through already?
life? Look, Maggie made cookies. Oh, my geez. neighbor made cookies. Did you use your thumb? Remember, you're supposed to use the bottom of the spoon. We're pretty good, though. Around um, <laughs> my neighbor wrote a note and put a baggie on our door that said uh, they couldn't go home for Christmas and they haven't seen their coworkers and they love to bake, so they baked everyone on our floor a bunch of cookies. <laughs> and they were delicious. Shut up. Okay. okay. Next game. I'm just in a real sassy move. Just letting you know. Uh -huh. I forgot what this game's called, dude. Ah, uh, dude. Ah. Uh. Do you want to talk cyberpunk for half a second? I haven't played anymore, but I I'm very surprised when you told me yesterday where I am in relation to the end of the game. Yeah, I uh, kind of don't want to play anymore, but that's a separate issue. Um, I was corresponding via Twitter with a person. I know on Twitter, not, I mean, I only know them through Twitter. What is this stupid um, thing you're doing? But they were pointing out, they were looking back, doing a retrospective, looking at cyberpunk trailers. And the one from, I think, a year ago in the trailer says that Johnny died a year before. Oh, wow. And they think that's what they changed it to 50. And then I replied to them saying, yeah, it felt weird that the 50 years ago was so similar to the modern day and nothing had changed. Yeah. And Johnny seemed to know everything that was happening. Yeah. And they were like, yeah, it's weird that like everyone 50 years later is still doing the same thing. And I'm like, yeah, I wonder, I wonder what kind of what made them change that. Yeah. Zach this said, is like, like, Santa uh, Paravia and Fio Maschio. <laughs> it's a this... Santa game. I, okay, by that logic, the Santa Maria is a Christmas boat. Are you a man or a woman? Oh, Grandmaster, for sure. Sir of Santa Porvario, rats ate 3% of your grain reserves. Good weather, fine harvest. 3,900, 212 spurs. I got a lot of bushels up here. Press <laughs> zero to continue or humber of transmission you wish to sell. Let's go to the land office. Do you think this would have blown your mind when it came out? Yeah, look at this, man. How many how many hectares am I buying? It's two florins per hectare. 50. Bro, bro, how many hectares am I buying? Okay, I'm going to exit. Uh, let's go to the grain market. You have 893 florins. Grain price is 38 florins per 1,000 ST. I'm going to buy grain, and I'm just going to buy... It's just by a thousand. Let's exit. Okay, zero to continue. Grain demand is that much. How much grain will you release for consumption? At least 20% of your reserves. Uh, a thousand. Ian, big yes. revelation. What? Fallout 76. Cyberpunk 2077. Mm -hmm. What's next? Star Wars 78. Take old baby 75. <laughs> um, okay, we've got two more games. Let's see what we got here. Um, the other thing that, that surprised me was... If you remember, the intro of Keanu Reeves was that you get quote-unquote killed, and then you wake up in the landfill, and it's Keanu Reeves who wakes you up. That's not in the game. That's, a, that's kind of a minor change, but still. Yeah. What did they... They just said on the hotspot, they were quoting someone else saying, it feels like... Cyberpunk feels like a game that has a lot of systems that play with each other, but those systems were removed before the game came out. We already played this game. Get me out of here. Destiny 78, Zach, you shut your mouth. Great. Just what that game needs. Another, guys, we're going to fix everything. We just need to release a whole new game slash patch slash DLC, and then it's going to fix. 
We already played this game. We already played this game? Yeah, we've got one game left. And then we'll we can it. play Minecraft. <gasps> I'll get it loaded up. This is called Sky Roads Xmas Special. You know? Oh, yeah. I'm on board. Oh, my God, this is so good. Not the cookies again. <laughs> wow. That's rude. Oh my god. Let's just do Snowbound and let's see where we're going from there. Oh. This is pretty neat. I died. Let's just go full bore. I'm gonna go slow for a little bit. Oh, I thought I may be jumping you lane, but it's not. It's like, all right, let's go to the Eve. Road three. Oh my God, Will, do you see this road? Let me yes, just show it to you. No, you don't. We got it. Whoa. I'm not even sure what I'm supposed to, I think I go. I'm guessing you jump? Yeah! Nice ah! I need to go to the left on that first one. Got it. Okay, folks, it's time for your favorite game. Daddy's favorite. Hi, it's me, your father. Baby boy Bumblebutt. We're going to be playing some Minecraft. Because... God bless that game, really. What's your project right now? Uh, I am trying to get enough hay to build my roof, and I'm also collecting more plants. Oh, yeah, you said you have taters, right? Taters and carrots? Uh, I just got some more now, but I had died and lost everything. Cool. I had about... A hundred hay stacks, and now I have nothing. To be fair, though, part of it is like, and this is not me dissing you. Why, why did you go that far? There's like, have you been checking the the dying map? There's like, pass by a different village. There's like the pre village on the map right now. There's two villages very close to us. Huh, Anyways, it's weird. It's like I've been to those ones and took everything, and then died and lost everything. That's actually kind of funny. Okay, so let me just... Uh, um, <laughs> there we go, Daddy's back. So uh, I'll just show off what I've done. So this is the tower. I'm going to start you up here. 
This is um I built this big bonfire watch watch fire type thing. Really like that aesthetic. And there's this tower. I'll take you to the top of it before you show you the bottom. Um, that's Will's house over there in his big wheat, wheat field. Pumpkin patch, sugar cane. That's Harkronium's house. Um, underneath us is Cyberlord's crazy mine. Coming down, we can come oh, into yeah, the need... central storage area. Oh, hey, if you see any animals, kill them. I need a bunch of leather to make books. Yeah, I had a bunch in the night tide. So that's what the tower looks like. Tower looks pretty good. I like the tower. Okay, all oh, right. So. Good morning. Yeah, every time I pass by the bed, I just kind of make it. Uh, I, I'm going to parse that pumpkin patch down a little bit and put potatoes and carrots in there, too, I think. No. Unless I build a separate one for it. Yeah, I would just build a separate one. I like, I like one, the idea of... The same. I just don't think the pumpkin one needs to be that big. But I, I'm looking at it for aesthetics. No, I, I agree. I just I would rather spend the space on something else. Well, the space I put out is basically room for I would say at least two more plots, probably. Yeah, I flattened that whole area. No, you didn't. I did. What do you mean? I flattened a bunch of that area. I did, like, a lot of it today. Oh, I didn't know you flattened more today. Oh, yeah. I don't know if it's showing up on Dynemap, but basically north of the sugar and the pumpkin is basically space to put probably three more patches now. Oh, yeah. Is that not down one level? It is. It's down one level. I was thinking about oh. bringing it up to the same level, but I thought that may be too much. So we'll yeah. just have to do a little down transition. And then there's also room... To the northeast, or um, probably uh, actually, now that I look at it, maybe two more, maybe even three more. <laughs> we finished leveling that. I just like the idea of you have this big farm field where each veggie or whatever has their own specific slot. Just freaking ran past that All right, so I'm just gonna focus on what I need to do, which is I need to oh, I found that CM temple. actually, you know what? I'm, I'm gonna see. I'm going to, uh, if you folks will give me a second, I'm going to try and load my modded version so that I can get some sweet, sweet, what would you call it? Faux ray tracing? Faux tracing? Ooh, faux tracing is good. Is the other one he makes real ray tracing? No. I think he just, if I'm understanding correctly, I think what he does is he, um, he has, a, he has a Patreon, and if you join the Patreon, then you get the latest version. And then every six months or so, he releases an older version. And then I know I know he has two versions up, and I think I think at some point he like rewrote the code base and released it as a second version. I mean, we have the second version, right? Like the newer iteration of it. I have the one from February. Yeah, I think that's the newer iteration of it, if that makes sense. Like, I think at some point... He decided to like rewrite it and he released it as a, I don't want to say separate product, but he basically said like, like a redux almost. He was like, this is the good stuff now. Oh, is this the village I died in? I think it is. Okay. All my XP, but not my stuff. Yeah, this game looks incredible with this fake ray tracing. Yeah, it's um, really good. I'm gonna bump the visual settings down though since I'm. Options, video, other. Man, I had those blast furnaces too. 
see if there's any more at the next one. Well, we already had one. We have a Blast Furnace? Yeah. But the weird thing about Blast Furnace is that I think it only does ore. Yeah. But it does it like twice as fast. Yeah. So I was thinking maybe we set up an ore smelter and then the other one's just a rando smelter. Yeah, but I just, I don't think we have enough ore to do that, you know? Well, I mean, sense. just have it set up. It doesn't yeah. Matter. It doesn't matter if we don't have enough. Sorry, guys. I know I know the video is going a little wonky on your side. I'm trying to dial in the settings. But it's not too laggy on stream. So I think it crashed. I'm kind of sad. I'm going to my parents for Christmas, and I can't bring my computer. Just bring your MacBook. Not that I can't. It's I'm not going to bring my computer. Yeah, I'll bring that, but it won't be the same. Ooh, this is a like a Saharan plain. Uh, okay, plain that's running better. Town village. Okay, let's get, um, I gotta go kill some, I gotta get leather. Yeah, so if you could do me a favor, basically, if you come across any animals, your journey there and back, just <gasps> kill them. Got a cartography table? Oh, I also need to set up animal pens. I don't know where that's going to be, though. I don't, yeah, I kind of, I don't want them next to the livestock because I feel like it's, uh, like, I want to set up a separate, distinct area, aesthetically, you know? Yay, I found hay. I start to replenish my lost lot. Why don't you just harvest all the hay around you? I do, but it doesn't, it really doesn't give you as much as you think it would. Also, I got a compost bin, so I, I assume that means I can put... I have chests full of seeds. So I assume that means I can dump those seeds into it and it makes something. Oh, no. Are you sure that wasn't me that I put that compost bin down? Because I did. No, I meant I have a compost bin. Oh. So it just... If you put food in it, it'll fill up and then it becomes bone meal. Gotcha. What about, so, do you know if you can put seeds in it? Maybe. I know I put, a bunch, I of, I put a bunch of sugar cane in it. So much seeds. So it's kind of like an easy way to get bone meal if you really want to. You really need it. If you need to bone. Yeah. Oh, hey, when you get back to base, let me know, because I want you to look at these sidewalk samples. Oh, I, I gave them a gander. Um, what are you thinking? I thought the, is the, I don't know. I'll, I'll, I'll tell you when I get back. I don't want to get it wrong. I'm leaning towards the log, honestly. Yeah, the log wasn't too bad. It's like, it kind of fits our, like, rustic theme, you know? Some horses here. Oh, I... Oh nope! It's not. I killed a bunch of slimes. That is also gone. <laughs> you should do what I do, which is that I know I'm bad at the game. So when I am going towards scenarios that are like dangerous, I just like deliberately give myself crappy gear. So if I if I die, I'm just like, well, there goes my crappy gear. You know. Well, I deliberately set my new spawn, and 
I didn't know that, that didn't. I didn't know yeah. beds didn't work in this, so that's yeah. kind of my downfall. I don't know if that's a multiplayer in general thing or if it's that mod that did it. Um, I, I don't think it's a multiplayer in general thing. Because even on like Sky Factory beds, yeah, spawn point. must be the mod, which I mean makes sense because you're going to be sleeping often. You don't necessarily want whatever bed you slept in last to be your new spawn point. Yeah. You have a bed, by the way. I'm not in bed. No, I mean, could you use a bed if you needed to? Uh, yeah, if I wanted to. Okay. I, um, I'm away from base, that's all. I yeah, bring a bed. I'm leagues away. Thanks, bro. Yeah, that's the other thing, is when you sleep in a bed, it says respawn point send. Yeah, yeah, I, I saw that. I think that's a mistake. Probably yeah. just left over. So yeah, that was, to explain, that was my entire plan, and then I died and spawned at home, and I went crap. So I'm rethinking the nether portal a little bit, just because the nether's dangerous and stuff. No. I was thinking about just making an overland highway, where I, I think a lot of these distances would be more manageable. If we just had, like, a defined road, you know, you don't have to do a lot of hopping or navigating. You're just like, go straight, follow the signposts. Or even, yeah. I was about to say mine, mine carts, but that, that would take a lot of iron. Where am I going? Ooh, I found a golden apple. Nice. And I found horse armor and saddles. Yeah, take those. I think one of the things we should do for a possible future Minecraft is there was a server I played on for a little bit and it was America in the 1890s, I believe. And there was like 100 people playing on the server. And so you chose i think it was the entirety of north america so you like chose your country and then your country was like the guys part of usa and then they were like oh well if you want to be part of houston you know you like build in the houston area and then they had a whole bunch of mods so they had like period accurate like firearms and stuff oh it was pretty bonkers so i was just thinking we could do that in the future of just like literally just going off the deep end and like trying to add the craziest mods I like that. Although that's kind of Sky Factory in a way, now that I think about it. Or Feed the Beast, whichever one. Just adds a lot of crazy stuff. Okay, I need to find a horse. Found me some more cows. Here he Oh, hey, we watched uh, Braveheart. Good movie. Oh, yeah. I've been there. It's Colin. I've been to where actual Braveheart happened. Oh, where where did it? Oh, you mean where? Okay, gotcha. Like where the actual bridge and all that stuff is. Yeah. I mean, I've been to it's Scotland. It's a very, very tiny bridge. Tiny bridge. I can't remember what it was called. Falkirk? Yeah, something like that. I mean, you know the cool thing I saw when I was in England was Henry VIII's grave and his sword, which was the largest sword I've ever seen in my entire life. Where was where was the sword? Was that in Tower of London? I think I think it was above his grave. Where is this? He grave? might have had multiple swords. It, it, his grave was in uh, uh, Westminster, I think. Oh, Westminster Abbey. Yeah, so we went there for Easter. Yeah, um, Westminster Abbey is neato. That's right, because we we talked about this, how we went there like several months apart <laughs> before we knew each other. We yeah, 2012? Went, yeah, 2012, yeah. Yeah, because we were there right before the we were there right before the royal wedding and when we went up to Scotland was when the royal wedding happened. Yeah. So we had like Westminster Abbey was all decked out for the royal wedding during Easter. Yeah, and then I was there 4th of July of 2012. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, we were going to go back in March and then go. 
Yeah, that's funny. Chris was going to go to, uh, uh, I think Scotland, and they they had to they had a whole rigmarole to like get their stuff money back. Oh yeah, I think I got. I think one hotel was nice enough to refund me. Didn't get train tickets back, and now I have like seven hundred and twenty dollars in flight credits through like I think next March, like March twenty twenty two. So, gotta figure that one out. Yeah, where are we going? I don't know. Iceland. I honestly really want to go back. Mm -hmm. I just want to drive around. Oh, I don't know if you saw, but uh, Johannes was on the server for a little bit today. I did. I saw your guys' little conversation. It was adorable. Because, like, I, I was, the chat log, somebody hopped in and within, like, five or six minutes unlocked a bunch of achievements. I saw that too. And I was like, oh no. So I hopped on the server, but nothing had changed and nobody took our diamonds or anything. So I was like, okay. And then somebody else hopped on 20 minutes later. And I was like, I got to get on while they're on to see what they're doing. And I hopped on. I was like, hi. And then it was Johannes. <laughs> yeah. Cause awesome. I, it's funny. I almost messaged you about it. Yeah. Cause they like were fast. And I was like, oh no. Yeah. Cause I, I think maybe they unlocked all those if they just came in and they, just like went through the chest and, and looked at items yeah. or grabbed them, but we still have all our diamonds and stuff. So, although I meant to see uh, the the server website got posted on the YouTube, and I was thinking of removing it and just saying to join the Discord. But well, how did it get we... how did it get posted on the YouTube? You mean in the in the video? No, in the comments, someone asked what it was in one of our. Discord people answered them. Yeah. Maybe we should. Yeah, I would delete that. I'm just worried about griefers. Griefer Th Sutherland? That's like legitimately one of your best. <laughs> Goofer? <laughs> Goofer Sutherland. Uh, that's a good. I hope that's in our new uh, pre roll. What pre roll? Wow. Did you get your mod installed? Mods installed? I did. Um, yeah, I didn't realize I was like, I didn't realize Optifine was, could be run, because I was running Optifine as its own jar. I didn't realize you could sub it into a mod pack. So. Oh yeah, and then I like I'm just using CurseForge just because it makes it a little bit easier to keep management of your profiles and stuff. I I downloaded CurseForge and I could not find any of the mods. Oh yeah, yeah. So I I had that problem too. But if you just like, there's an option in CurseForge to be like just open the folder, and then you just drop them in there. Yeah. I so, lost like, my patience way before that, and I just I'm doing it all manually. Yeah, it's just because I I know I'm streaming, so I need like normal minecraft when i'm streaming in case i have performance issues and then i need my uh, ray tracing and that's kind of the i don't want to say the only thing but that's the big thing i care about with uh first forge is that uh it does that profile management really well okay i gotta see if there's any more hay and there is Got a lot of you books. said it was slash spawn to just take you back to the beginning? Yeah. That should work for you. Nice. That's actually kind of handy. Let me know if that doesn't work for you, though. I think I got all the hay. I do not have access to that command. Type uh, slash home. Oh, slash home worked. Nice. Yeah, and then if you do slash uh, set home, it sets your personal home. Cool. I got a yellow bed. I'm trying to decide if, if I like... I was making my walls out of sand because it's the like... I think it looks the most like plaster, but I can't um, tell if it actually looks good. So let me know next time you walk past my house. Okay, I'm coming to your house right now. 
And then we need to talk about sidewalks so I can get started. Got two cartography tape. Yeah, you know what? I think you're... Yeah, I think you're right. Well, let me look at a bunch of stuff in... Um... You could try sandstone. I did make a little bit of sandstone if you want to try that. And then there is smooth yeah. sandstone. Oh, is there? That might actually be the answer. Let me go make some and bring it back. Because I have it. At least I think I have it. It may be my sidewalk sample. Oh, shoot. I fell off the roof. Wow, that gave me actual, like, pit of the stomach. Um, my favorite thing about this ray tracing is that when you jump, you have like a really good shadow now. And if you're sprinting and you jump, take a look at your shadow. <laughs> you're like running midair. It's so great. Uh, update. Compo fin does take seeds. You know what? Uh, sorry, buddy. You're going to have to make your own sand sun because I don't have any sand. Oh, okay. No and you probably have a lot, right? Because you just got back from the desert. Uh, I have zero, but that's okay. Um, okay, you want to come looky looky? Oh, yeah. This doesn't have to be final, but I do want to at least get started with this. Think about putting the livestock I don't know, maybe here? Just like a series of pens riding west to east. Oh, the sandstone does look good. Well, the problem with sandstone, I think the sides of sandstone look, yeah. Yeah, but I think smooth, right about that. smooth sandstone. Try so, that. my vote is polished diorite or andesite. Yeah, so 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 my, my only problem with those is I think this is too fancy. I don't think we have a fancy establishment here. And this looks a bit too much like stone. So you know what? Actually, let me pop one of them and go put it in stone. And see what it looks like in the middle of stone. I think it looks okay. Plus, it's just a that's just a a good motivation to remove a lot of the stone and replace it with dirt. That's my vote. I mean, if you want to go wood, I I think that looks fine too. Um Maybe I'll do like a main pathway. Well, I'll just do andesite. Yeah, I might replace my stuff with andesite. Um, yeah, I would try the polished sandstone. If you want to take the sandstone that I have there, you can. Oh, I'm back on my roof already. Back on my shit. Okay, so, and, um, what do we think, two wide or three wide for the pathway? I think two uh, wide. I think two wide. Yeah. Even though it's uh, Between the farms, you can kick it out to three wide since we did that already, but. Yes, yeah. Well, I was thinking about making that. I could do that. I don't want to say wood, but something that's a bit more, like, rural. Whatevs. Okay, so this is definitely going to be like this. Okay. okay. And this is going to become... This. Temporary secretary. See that giant bomb's gonna start doing 90 songs? Yeah, I was just gonna ask you that. You um, and then uh, people started posting 
But the thing is, like, I don't know why, but a lot of the songs I was looking at, I was like, these aren't that bad. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great song. Uh, mm. It's a great bad song. I wouldn't even argue that, man. Like, that is a go-to when you're like, hey, you want to listen to the worst song ever? Oh, yeah. That's a good point. Um, Zach said he's jealous we play a lot. Why isn't he jealous. playing right now? Uh, he just got home from Portland. So? I don't know if he tweeted it, but you should see the, the coffee table he made. Crazy. Yeah, tweet it, baby boy. I don't even know if I follow him on Twitter. Probably uh, don't for a reason, honestly. Plans. You know, I think 2021 is the year I get a 3D printer. You have a 3D printer. I don't, but I think it's the year I do get one. Oh, did you sell the one that you had? Uh, it does not work. You have a 3D printer. I don't. Why do you keep saying I have a 3D printer? You, you have, have a 3D, 3D printer. printer. You just don't. You just don't fix it. That's all. What do you mean? Don't fix it. It does not have any parts to make it work. So I, I want to I buy feel an like, actual. No, because every time we talk about this, you're like, man, I should fix it. But as my understanding is that you bought it. You no. It was given to, fix to it me. Out, plan to fix it, and you've just never actually attempted no, it that is actually not true it was given to me mm -hmm. and they said oh i switched out these parts all you need to do is probably get these parts and then it'll work so i bought these parts and then i went to fix it and it needed more than those parts and well, i said what is rather it? than spending like 200 dollars on new parts why don't i just buy a different 3d printer that's not like six years old are you sure it's like 200 dollars? yes what parts do you need? Oh shoot, my mind too much. I I don't even remember. Because that's the thing is that you can get an Ender three for two hundred dollars, but by the time you put in the upgrades that you should probably put in, you're looking at about three hundred. So it's really yeah, that's like fine with me. Three hundred. But the point is, like, it. I'm not saying you're doing this. I'm not saying you're doing this, but there are definitely situations in which general you, you not just you in general this is me as well you go man i could avoid i could do 50 dollars worth of repairs or i could just spend 300 dollars and not not do the repairs you know yeah it's also i have no idea what this thing needs to fix it and the software is not updated anymore what what software whatever it's like a it's an old robo r1 it's like most of that stuff is open source. So like I don't use software from the manufacturer for my printer. Yeah. I use an open source I, I, one. So Yeah. I, this was like three months ago when I tried to fix it. Yeah. Um, I forget what the actual thing is that made me decide to not pursue fixing it. I would say why well, it's just I don't know. It's it's one of those things where I think the big thing is when you get a 3D printer, you're going to have to fiddle with it a lot. Even if you buy a brand new working one, you've got to fiddle with oh, it yeah. a lot. So if you're like giving up because you don't want to fiddle with one that you already have, it's like, man, maybe this ain't your hobby, you know? No, but I'd rather fiddle with one that has like good documentation and stuff. Like this has not like when that's, I search this yeah, one, nothing fair. comes up. That's fair. Because there was a better one that came out like a year after it. And that is the one everyone bought. Yeah. Although, I mean, the nice thing about 3D printers is that they're almost always built off of one of the open source versions, open source designs. So it's like, you may not be able to find that exact model, but you can like look at it and be like, look up that design type. And they'll be like, oh, well, it works like this. So you should probably check these points. 
You know what I mean? Yeah. If that makes sense. Yeah, all I remember is I was completely lost when I was trying to fix it. It had, like, transformer issues. Like, the whole wiring was redone. Like, he, like, redid the wiring to include LED lights and, like, these separate functions. What an idiot. So. Yeah, I... Uh, the only thing I would say like, is he stopped doing it because he couldn't figure it out. Yeah. And this is a guy who like is an idiot. Got it. No, 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 like a really smart person. They're like, I don't have the time to figure it out. If you want to figure it out. Uh, when did they buy this printer? Like five or six years ago. Oh, okay. I was about to say, uh, well, in that case, if you can buy a new printer, I highly recommend, oh, shoot, I can't, I think it's called the, ender five so basically there's a version of my printer but it comes from the factory with like a dozen upgrades half of which i have had to add on to my printer and half of which i don't even have yet and they're all like great improvements like one of them is it has so like if you know 3d printers you got to level the bed so basically that the bed is always the same distance from the nozzle um, mine is manual and I upgraded the springs so that it's stiff, but I still have to do it every five or six prints. But the new one has automatic bed leveling where it literally just brings the nozzle down. It can detect how far it is from it. And that, that takes like a big, like pain point slash manual operation completely off the table. It just works. Yeah. And you just hit like, you just do it before every print and it does it automatically. So it's, it's things like that, and then, like, they upgraded the design elements, like the belt tensioner. On mine, I have to, like, unbolt something and then, like, hold it out and then try and bolt it back on, but they turned it into, like, an easy twist tensioner. So all this stuff that is just, like, nice and easy. I think that printer's, like, 300 bucks, and it's, it's great. Yeah, that's not bad. Um, yeah, I just printed, I, I've been getting back into it recently because I'm trying to reorganize my modeling stuff, my model making stuff. And I was like, man, I really want a better, like, paintbrush stand. Um, and I was looking online, and I didn't really like the designs, and the ones that I did like were like 20, 30 bucks, and they were like laser cut plywood and all this stuff. I was like, screw it. And I just designed the top of what I wanted, and then I just built a foam core box around it Oops. and it was like that's the cool thing about 3d printers is that you're just like let me just spend 30 minutes designing something and then i'll set it to print and 10 hours later i pull it off the printer and i have it yeah and that's that's, awesome. that's neato just custom stuff like that um yeah and there's plenty of like 3d design programs out there that are free but like very robust, like almost professional grade. So you can do a whole lot of stuff with it. All right, what am I doing? Trying to figure out. I'm going to move the spawn. Yeah, you know, maybe we should do cobblestone. I like the cobblestone for the farm area. What do you think? Yeah, or should, that's fine. Or should we do a different... Yeah, let's do cobblestone. Alright, I'm just going to start ripping this out. Then. Oh, that's what I was going to do. I was going to plant a Christmas tree. At, oh, no. In the middle of our base. Yeah. Oh no, my axe broke. Uh, Zach said he tweeted the photos at you. So you can see it. Oh, it's live react. Do you have this problem with your Discord app on your phone? Where every now and then, well, I want to say about half the time, like the application stops popping system wide notifications. I'll get. Um... If we go live, 
I won't get the notification that we went live on my phone until I check it after we finish the stream. You mean like you manually go into Discord app and then you see it? Or like I even, I'll like turn on the screen of my phone and it'll pop. Oh, yeah. I have that. Although I think I have that like, I think that's like a phone setting where it's like how often it'll check for notifications while it's asleep. But yeah, like Discord, like there'll be people sending messages to me on Discord and it won't pop at all. And then I open the Discord application. All of a sudden it's like, boom, you've got five messages waiting here. Yeah, because sometimes I send you a message and it says you're on your phone or something and like you will not answer. And I'm like, oh, yeah, it's because it, it just it doesn't pop a notification. Yeah, um, which sucks because I'm trying to do all these stocks. Uh, Zach, real nice job on the table. I'm assuming those tile sizes are because that is the max you can do with your printer. Um, in terms of the size of the tiles. But yeah, that's that's real nice. Not your printer, your CNC. Yeah, 3D printing's cool. It's, um, it's definitely one of those things where whether you get your money's worth out of it depends on how often you use it, and how often you use it depends on, like, how much you convert over to that mindset of, like, I'm going to be able to design and print useful things. And I yeah. think I think I'm a little too lazy to fully take advantage of that, but it is definitely capable of that, which is great. Yeah, it's like George today was like, "Yeah, I think I'm going to spend my six hundred uh, on this like seventeen hundred dollar Glockenspiel, electric Glockenspiel." I'm like, "How often do you play that?" It's like pretty often. I'm pretty good at it. I'm like, "Yeah, but what?" What requires you to have an, a, a $1,700 clock yeah. and spiel? Yeah. Like, unless you're making bank off of being a clock and spiel player, like, you would, why would you ever consider buying that? Yeah. Crazy man. I haven't even thought about my second 600. I'm. Still I can't not. wait to. Sorry, go ahead. Uh, I was gonna say I can't wait for all the uh, jail time we're gonna have to serve. Yeah. I'm just still in the in the in the mode of like, I gotta buy a house next year. Just try and save as much as you can. Oh yeah. And I'm doing I'm doing. Let me be honest with you. I'm not doing as well as I should, but I'm definitely doing better than I realistically thought I would be able to. Sorry, PS Five say what? Yeah, exactly. I'm sorry. 3080 I'm trying to buy every single day, what? <laughs> Xbox Series X, what? Oh, airbrush? All these goddamn models? <laughs> but yeah. Say what? What? Wait, why is this... Well, I'm gonna murder you. What did I do? This pumpkin patch you made. It's you... because I built it for potatoes, not for pumpkins. Too bad. I just I want to make it the same size as the other one. Yeah, I don't know why you made this one this size. Because this is the exact same size as the original wheat one you had. Oh, see, the original wheat one had a built-in uh, middle. That's why this one yeah. didn't have a built-in. middle. No, no. I see. I'm not trying to build them optimally. I was just trying to build them to match your original. Yeah, yeah. Wheat. No, that's fine. But if yeah. you build another row, we have to add water again for the pumpkins. But that's fine. Um, maybe. No, just away. Oh well, then, then it's probably easier for me to just cut out the sugar king then. Yeah, I also think it looks better if they're not all the same size. I mean, you say that, but I kind of like the rose. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, your house looks great, but I kind of wanted to do like rose. In terms of like you look I at like arbitrary well, chaos. So. Let me put it this way: I it's kind of like Jackson Pollock. Uh, I remember uh, an art class I took in. Oh, can you go sleep in a bit? Thanks, baby. Uh, an art class I took in college, and the professor talked about how like when Jackson Pollock first came around, people were like 
acting like it was easy. And then like a first year like art student assignment is like do a Jackson Pollock style painting. And they realize how hard it is to actually get that look, you know, where you don't have too much of one color, too little of one color, where it, it actually looks like well spread out and chaotic. And so my point being, I think for me, I know it's very difficult for me to do it. Like a good fake chaos type thing. And so I, I tend to just not. I'm saying don't fake the chaos. I'm saying just build things and don't really pay attention. Oh. Yeah, I'm saying it would it would not look good. And then I'd be like, like in my head, it's like, I always want to plan it out. And so it's like, do I plan the chaos? That's going to be way harder than, than planned organized. And so I take the easy way out because that's who I am as a person. Yep. But, you know, I think you're right. Maybe I should try some some planned chaos. Just or you I mean, know, vein chaos. mining works for sand, and I'm very excited about yes. that. Yes. Yes, it does. <laughs> and it's um, also destroyed what is over here. Yeah. Well, I was just going to say, I think I think that, that piggybacks on what we talked about earlier about part of Minecraft is I have fallen into conventions or cliches about my building styles and i need to part of this minecraft is getting away from those trying to new things different things yeah as that can attest i usually build my buildings with like the sand wood combo but i've never had thatch to work with and i've never had like spruce to work with so mm -hmm. i figured it's different enough that i'm yeah i'm allowed to mess around with it um you know that's a, that's a good idea though is that i mean the wheat the hay bales is kind of new at least for me so maybe i should look yeah. at maybe i should look at what all the new items are and try to build something out of some new stuff yeah that's kind of what my thought process was i mean zach and i had a great medieval village we built with huge sprawling fields of wheat but i don't i don't know if it's i still really have good. a copy of it I have a lot of our old stuff. Where I is... I How do I make polished sandstone? Uh, you may have to put it in burn. Oh, I forgot you can strip spruce logs. What? How do you make that? You can? Yeah, you put... I wonder if you put it in the logging. I don't know how to make it. Oh man, my internal beams I'll make of stripped ones. Oh, that'll look bombing. Oh, I wish I had some dark oak. Yeah, I don't know. You have to look that up on the wiki. Okay, sandstone in the smelter makes smooth like sandstone. Sandstone in the smelter. like the antlers or oh Bowie. um i think about braveheart watched it on 4k hdr blu-ray just that? great real good stuff just phenomenal what did um shut up zach shut up zach um before you say that, I was just gonna say it was it was kind of weird because we tried to watch it a couple months ago on the One X, and for some reason like it just would not read the Blu-ray, the 4K Blu-ray, even though it was brand new. So then I just kind of put it back in the case. But then we tried it again tonight with the Series X, and I don't know if it was because of the Series X or because they patched the Blu-ray player or something, but it it worked. Did you notice the Series X sound drive? No, oh, you mentioned it. no. But I was playing the movie a little out, so. Yeah. I think that's that's the main thing, is you would notice it if there was no other sound. Yeah. In your head, zombie. Can you hear that cat in the background? I very much can hear that cat. It sounds like Zach's She's cat. just... Sometimes she's just like 
I want attention right now. Oh, Zach said he can do 30 by 30. I don't know if you saw that. But he said 30 30. trusting wood not to move when releasing that much tension is not fun. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I can see that. 30 by 30 inches, I'm assuming, not centimeters. Yeah. Oh, that was my other. I made a list of things I wanted to do in 2021, which we started with. Um, I want to get a new case for my computer and swap my parts over to it. Uh, not to judge you or anything, but do you do you need a new case or is this just like something you feel like your case is updated or is this just like an aesthetic splurge? I'm just uh, kind of curious. It's I want to get a more quiet case. Um, my case is older and my USBs don't really work anymore. And I also just want to rather than like cleaning my case out and doing all that, I think it'd be more fun to move it into a new case. Yeah. Start with something fresh. Plus, uh, the newer cases. I don't know if your if your case is loud, but granted, my, mine's old, mine's five or six years old. But I bought a, like a nice Corsair case. I don't want to say nice, but it was like a you know seventy dollar Corsair case, and it came with it came with all the fans it needed, and all the fans are very quiet, which was nice. Yeah. So that that's my, another my reason. Case... Sorry, go ahead. No, no, no. My my case is super quiet, except. Uh when now when that uh when the 2070 spools up oh yeah yeah same same my graphics card is my graphics card has the bearings make a particular noise at like 30 percent fan speed so i basically like have to run it it's either at like 10 percent fan or like 75 percent or higher fan and when it goes up to 75 it's very loud so uh, that's one of the things I'm looking forward to with the 3080s. Apparently, all of them have very quiet fans. Yeah, so I I, I want to. This is like 2021 plans. I'm kind of just like writing them down, like yeah, what I can do. So is that I uh, the 3D printer is also part of that. Um. Uh, I want to once not now, but once I move into a bigger apartment and I have room, I was thinking of perhaps starting my quest onto building a stand-up arcade machine. Um, getting some of the, like, the panels all cut out and yeah, but all together. You know, that, that that's such a crazy market right now that it honestly would probably be easier just to buy one of those rebuilt main cabinets and then swap out the guts as you need to. Because there's so yeah. many of them now. But I, I don't mind doing it. Doing it myself. Yeah, yeah, I hear. Um, uh, and then... I had put like a Boba Fett, like some sort of like stormtrooper cosplay armor, because I, I think like with Etsy and stuff, like it's so we talked about this the other day. I think it was off stream though. Um, like it's such a big market now that people are doing that, and it's more like generally accepted to do that stuff. Mm -hmm. um, but then I was thinking, um, I have old plans for building an R two D two, and I was like, oh, if I had. So if I had access to a 3D printer and could work more on that, I wouldn't mind putting together either a scale version of an RTD2 or an actual size version of an RTD2. Yeah. And, uh, but think about I think that's more fun to cosplay because you're not inside of it. Yeah. That's that's a lot though because the main thing is that most 3D printers the build size is basically like 20 by 20 by 20 centimeters. Yeah, yeah. I, I didn't want to build it all with a 3D printer. I just meant like if I needed like a little thing to hold stuff back or like I needed oh, a yeah, yeah, gear yeah. part or something, I could 3D print that and throw that in. Yeah, but I've seen people do the full 3D print. Like on my printer, it's just it's a lot of parts and then you have to glue them together. And then on top of that, you also have to like take care of the 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 layer lines which requires like a lot of sanding priming stuff yeah. like that so it's it's one of those projects where it's like you could do it on a 3d printer probably wouldn't recommend it yeah 100 percent. so yeah i've been thinking through plans for good old 2021 yeah i don't know yet smooth sandstone boom got smooth sandstone How's it look? Uh, I haven't put it in yet. Honestly, I think it'll look better than sand. 
So this is a little pathway working along. Is it? I think that's a good thing. But I'm more excited for my nephews to open their presents for me than I am to open my own presents. Ew. I also decided, Zach, don't listen to this, um, that I wanted to get my nephews action figures. But they're, one's about to turn one, and the other one's about to turn one and a half. Yeah. So I figured they're a little too young for action figures. I don't want to like throw them at them yet. And plus, I think my brothers would like to buy action figures for their own kids. But I had the brilliant idea of like, so I figured Zach would buy his kid like Star Wars action figures or whatever. But I think I'm going to like buy them like some He Man action figures for next year's Christmas and like ship them here and then like so I can clean them and everything. So they're not like gross. Old, old action figures. Like old action figures for kind of cheap and then yeah. ship them out to my nephews. Uh, I yeah, think that would be I guess that's fun. not a bad idea. I like I like action figures. Plus, you know, they're kids. They love them. Yeah. In your head. I don't know why that song stuck in my head. What do you want for Christmas, baby boy? What do I want for Christmas? A lot of books. I that was my last couple of Christmases. I had to take all of them off my Christmas list because people were just like, oh yeah, books, and they just buy me all these books I wanted. And I have a stack on my bedside table of books I need to get through. And it has not gone down, even though I've been reading. So I need to slow down on the books for a while. I have so many books. Yeah. I I love I just really enjoy owning books. So I used to be like that until I had two tall bookcases filled with books. And then I was like running out of room for books. But also like when I got into board games, I was like, where do these board games go? And then like we moved and it was like moving books sucks because they're heavy. So you can't just like throw them on a big box. And I was just like, you know what? And I went through and I got rid of any book that I was not planning to read again. And then even books that I was planning to read again eventually, I got, I basically got rid of any books that were not like super unique yeah. or that I hadn't read yet. You know what I mean? So it was just like, that helped me a lot because now my bookcases are more storage and I don't, I'm not, I think if you got the room and you don't mind it, I love a bookcase aesthetic. But man, I was just like, I was like, I ain't got, I ain't got room for all this stuff. Too much stuff. I hear you. Um, if you want to look at my house, what do you think of the sandstone? I, I kind of like it. I think I'm actually uh, into it. One second, I'm just filling in some. I gotta figure out windows as well. Maybe for windows, you just do open trapdoors. That's not a bad idea. Um, it's good. I'm just not crazy about the, the horizontal log in the middle. Is it supposed to be two story? Yeah, there's not going to be a third story. Oh, okay. I think, I, I think that's literally the only thing I don't like about it. I feel like at least from the outside, it should look like one story. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, like the aesthetic from this side, the um, western side, is like what it should look like. You know what I mean? Where it's just beams to the top, horizontal beam, the very top, plaster, and then the roof. 
I think when you add the second horizontal, it doesn't look as good. I would almost... It's going to require a little rework. I, I would have all the walls be one story high, but you have a vaulted ceiling so that you basically have a second floor when you get inside. There's this, there's an attic space. Does that make sense? Yeah. So I, so I wouldn't show the second story from the outside. Got that's it. just, that's my two, two cents. It's like this, this looks great. But when you go to the other side, when you start stacking it on top of each other, it doesn't look as good. Hmm. That's just me. Either way, it still looks great, though. Cute. Yeah, I gotta make more sandstone. I gotta put my roof on. Oh, it's getting close to bedtime. I'm I'm pretty happy. I am down to book. What book am I on? I'm I'm on book. I'm on book five of the Dune series. Oh, I thought you went. Nice. That's pretty good. But the problem is, I'm... I know I know in order to finish book five and get through book six seven and eight is going to be at least a couple months but i kind of want to do that before i sit down and read curse of straw which means curse of straw may be a little bit later than we were thinking but i don't know. i'm uh i just started uh equal rights which is the third terry pratchett book oh is he any good i've never read any pratchett he's very good i, I really like him Two authors, so uh, two authors I would recommend. Terry Pratchett. The first two books are like a two-part book. It should be one book, honestly. Um, and then the... Hi, Karen. I'm coming to bed soon. Don't worry. And then the third book is start of another like quote-unquote trilogy, but they're less... They're more segmented, so you don't have to read them together. Mm -hmm. um, and same with all those other books. And then... Uh, so I read... I'm reading that right now. But before I read this, I read Howl's Moving Castle and Castle in the S Castle in the Air, and they were both what I like to call fantastic. Um, huh. I would highly recommend them. Very good books. Um, yeah, uh, the Equal Rights, which I'm reading right now, is my 18th book this year. Oh, so that's kinda... that's cool. I think it's the most I've... I forget how many I read last year. I think it was 15 last year. Um, my senior year of college, I gave myself a challenge and I did 52 books that year. Yeah, I don't think I could... I think I could break 20. I don't think I could break 30. I think a lot of it was, um, you know, going to college in the Middle East, I had very fast... I had great internet. And here was my great internet. You ready? It was great internet because... It was one megabit per second, and I did not have a quota. So if that gives you an idea of how little there was to do, if that makes sense, it's just like when you don't, when you, when you can't really sit on the internet all day because it's just like almost too slow to load YouTube videos. It's just like, well, I guess I'll get a lot of reading done. <laughs> and, you know, being an English lit major, it was also a lot of reading assignments yeah so it helped but like i read war and peace that year as well war and peace great book oh uh, he's a great guy warren um i That's just not noticed bad i don't know if this is meant to be this but you can sleep whenever <laughs> yes i kind of like it that. No, I did too. It's just, it's great because it throws the error saying you can only sleep at night or a thunderstorm, but it yeah. still resets the day. Yeah. That's why I, I get in the habit of just like, especially if, if I'm by myself on the server, I just sleep every time I walk by the bed. Yeah, that's smart. I'm going to make some glass. I 
Okay, I'm uh, I'm gonna abandon you because I have to go to bed. Okay, let me do an outro. Well, folks, thank you guys so much for joining us. Uh, we played a lot of Christmas games. Turns out they are not as good just as we uh, expected. Wait, did you just flat out leave? No, I'm what? still. Oh, I did not mean to exit that. Yeah, dang us. No, that's okay. I I apologize. I, I would be mad if you flat out left. Uh, no, no, no. no. I, I quit the wrong thing. Sorry. <laughs> uh, so, folks, we will be back. Um, you know what? Actually, let me check that. I think we're not going to be streaming on Thursday because it's Christmas Eve. And um, I'd say we want to spend time with our families, but really, we just didn't want to. Um, yeah, pretty much. I Eric, also won't be home. Coming up Saturday, we have a solo stream with me uh we'll figure it out not sure what i'm gonna do yet um but we'll definitely find something to do um thank you guys so much for joining us will thank you for joining us you can find us at subpixelfilms.com you can also find me on twitter at think gibson and will on twitter at hunt 270 uh thank you guys so much for joining thank you for watching we'll see you all next time Bye bye bye